Hello everyone, Shimon here, and uh, hope everyone is safe during this corona period. Everyone's staying at home and taking care of themselves. So, good thing about being a trader is actually life goes on as per normal since trading from home is what we do anyway. So, well, whatever happens, is even if the virus hits and, and people are losing their jobs, you should still be making a very good income right? trading. Um, today is the 27th of, uh, of April. Okay, so Singapore time 27th. Uh, Singapore time 11.05 a.m. So today I thought uh, we go through uh, the live charts, live charts that I post on, on TradingView and let's see what went wrong, what went right. When things go right, then it's, you know, it's safe. It's uh, as per normal, but when things go wrong or when things get tricky, uh, price hits the target but goes out in a tricky way, uh, that's, that's a good learning moment as well. So I was thinking maybe the just about nine charts here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. About nine charts. With time we can do more. Um, okay, so let's just let's just look at the most recent charts first. So this is the Canadian yen. Looking for the upside, as you can see. Uh, looking for upside. Yeah, we're looking for the upside to here. And then whether or not it breaks out, it depends. Uh, you know, I often you often see me have a, a solid line here and then after it becomes a dotted line. So that carries a meaning by itself, right? I mean, if you follow the, the way I trade, I, I believe in trading uh, from a, a zone a zone to a certain zone, and from a certain zone to a certain zone, from a certain zone to a certain zone. So, generally, um, it's not if you just draw like this. Um, but many years ago, I would have done that, but you know, you you know now that, that this this is really not uh, so so easy because when people fo start to follow your charts, and although price action might get from here to here, but sometimes it goes like this, it comes down, it goes like this, kind of side, it goes up like this. Then instead of reaching this level, at this level here, it suddenly collapsed this way. So zone to zone trading is always a is always a good thing. So instead of saying that this will get from here to like here, you should say I found it, it's kind of better to it's more responsible also to say here to here it's safer. Then from from here to here, then from here to here. Then if here decides to go, this is a dotted line because why that that can happen as well. So you don't want to give up all the profits over two months, right? So I think it's more responsible that way, rather than say um, the you know oh, like, and then you go buy a, a new a new Mercedes Benz or a new Patek Philippe watch. So because that happened, so rather than do this, uh, I, I I try to tell myself now when people see my charts, I should do I should put two zones. It is much better that way. But in this case, um, I feel that this should should get up there, and then. Um, What's up now? Yeah, it's consolidating. So this looks like a good book buy. Okay, cat cat yen. It's a it's a private chart because at the time when I was drawing it, it was still kind of kind kind of ifish. But now that I'm looking, at it, it's starting to look better and better. So if you know how to day trade this up, you should. Okay, um, it's a good time packed swing. Okay, now this is uh, crude oil. Same thing as well. It's now it's now making the uh, the, the the move down. You see. It's making this move down over here. So if you see any pop up here, it's a good, it's a good uh, opportunity to buy. And the reason why I did this over this side over here is just to illustrate what exactly I mean by this square box. So you, you have a trend line, it consolidates above, and then when it breaks out, you can take the trade. So it consolidates you from here to here. Then from here, you have to um, trade to this zone. Then from this zone, actually, you start to become a little bit careful because why? This one could always come up here, okay? It could always come up here like so, like here, and then suddenly it just dives again. That's possible too. So, so this is a good place to enter, but you need to know how to manage up to here, and you need to know how to manage up to there, all right? So day trading, very important. 
bias is a study of probability of where the next swing will uh, could go to the most the most optimum place and then day trading skills how how to how to how to manage uh, manage your lot size uh, how to put a break even whether you have an ea to help you manage your trade that's a, that's all that's that's the other side of trading okay it's very important as well for me on my channel i cover only the bias right ah, so that uh, you know we all shoot in the same direction this is a uh, pound pound dollar but not all the same thing, upside, you're looking for upside because uh, something like this, okay? So it's more or less the same thing. So when you consolidate, you look for the upside this way. And then, of course, there's a dotted line because the reason for that is because this one has a chance of coming up there, pulling back very sharp, and then before it, it, it goes again in this direction. So meaning it could go up straight or it goes up here, it comes back down, sharp like this to around this level, then pop, pop, sideways see pop pop this is a sideways up sideways go you come back down hunt the stops because why you need people in in the buys to be stopped out when they are stopped out they are forced to sell and then people who need to the market makers will then fill their buy orders right here so people are forced to sell smart smart smart, smart money will buy and then pop Come back again and then it will go or you just go straight okay so the initial move has really been hit so congrats to those who, who already hit it right so you should be it's a it's a happy uh it's a happy monday morning right uh i'll see dollar wait a minute yeah i'll see dollar Aussie dollar, yeah, this is a happy Monday morning. There you go. See, you consolidate outside. If you have consolidated here, you can consolidate it here, but when you see consolidation, that's a good one. But now you should not buy anymore because why? Uh, there's a good chance it can collapse now. I'm literally looking for Aussie, Aussie to the downside now, right? Because the, the, the move up has already been made, right? So that's a good one. Uh, next you have, next you have uh, silver. Uh, silver should be heading for the upside. So, but before it heads to the upside, it, can, it needs to stop people out. So always be on the lookout for stuff like that. When it comes to stop people out, or it goes even lower, like so. And this lows is when it, this can be starting to move to the upside. Again, this is, uh, this is the best case scenario because then you know people are, are getting stopped out. And then people who are in the early buys can then uh, will be stopped out, forced to sell, and then you take their position so that it can go to the upside. But again, this side is always dangerous. However, if you took at an extreme low, then you would not care how this actually turns out, right? You could spin around, spin around, do whatever, but because you got it at the extreme low, you can keep it all the way to the top. Maybe even buy some physical silver, physical gold, right? Some, some gold bars. I bought some, uh, I have some gold bars and stuff like that. So you can consider those, right? Um, What is this euro yen? Huh? So this is on private chart also. Uh, what did I do here? So over here, I cannot recall this one. No trades. So many trades, they just come, they go, they come, they go. So I was looking for this move to the upside. And I don't want to take it up here. I'll wait for a pullback first. Wait for some kind of confirmation here before it actually goes. So let's see what actually happened. Uh, ooh. So in this case, it just plunged. So this is one of those learning moments. Huh? Let me see. Let me see if. Uh, let me see if. Uh, I don't recall this this trade. That means hopefully I did not take it. Sometimes I just forget. Um, so you needed to wait for the confirmation. Okay. So let's look at it. let's look at it. let's study stuff when they don't go our way. Confirmation would have. Been uh, one, two, three. This first move, set up, down. No, this one actually made a lower low here, as you can see. There was no, there was no buy over here, so you cannot find it. And this made a lower low. And this, this looks like that. This could have been a one, a two. This could have been a, this could have been a three if it breaks out. 
if you broke out, or you, if you find some reason here, find, find some reason here, some smaller one to go, to go, to go, to go up to here at least, then you can bought. Because if you, if you did not do that, and this one actually made a lower low like this, uh, and it don't break out of this first, second, third, you see there's a push that made a lower low, which means that this one has got strength, you see. So when there's strength and it breaks below, you have to be very careful. When it comes back up here, it could be feeling orders in order to make another move down. So then, what, when you see it come back to here, in order to make another move down, guess what? Now you draw this trend line. So if it broke out here, this would have been your buy. So in this case, uh, no, mm, mm, there's no buy. The bias was up, but trading management will decide whether or not you actually get in the trade. Okay? So, So that's a good one. It's a good learning moment, right? For, for people who, uh, who, have, who, 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 who kind of know what this is, but don't know exactly know how to trade this. So that's a good, good learning moment. Okay, so let's go back to... So when all things go well, you don't learn anything from it, right? So everything looks fine. So but it's actually some complications can happen you know, from time to time. So. No, it's Aussie Yen. What do we have here? Aussie Yen looking for the outside. Aussie Yen, so it hit. The target has been hit. Um, okay. Bias was up. Uh, trading wise might have been tricky. Okay, let's have a look at it again. See, trading wise. Um, it would have been much easier if this had uh, come back closer to around this this lows over here. It would be much easier, right? Uh, that's why if it came out to any of these lows or it come down and then it goes back up again, these 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 are all good, good buys. But in this case, um, uh, the bias was up. Uh, trading wise, you it required quite some skill in order to get this. Where you were, yeah, you were needed quite quite some skill in order to to buy it upside. So you if you need to take a buy from here, you have to take the buy from here and know how to navigate the stop loss towards upside. All right. Okay, let's go next. That was all the end. Okay, Aussie in. So let's go look at, uh, did I miss anything? You okay, didn't, right? Okay, let's go look at crude oil. Uh, brand crude, so same. Uh, at, the, at the lows, the trend is your friend until, until it bends, you know? So, so now you're here. So question is, uh, she used to sell. No, at this point, she's looking for the buy already. She's not be looking for the sell. So I know some people would say, hey, you know, you stay the trend, trend, but it's very generic. It's very, very generic. And you know, what kind of trend are you talking about? Minute trend? Uh, you know, a five minute trend, a, a 15 minute trend? What, what kind of trend? So anyway, we're looking at a very big picture here. So big picture, we're looking always for the upside. Because always swing, Trade in the direction of the of the bias, right? The fall trend that is ending. Okay, so basically, basically, right? Let's say this is a four hour trend that's going down like here, right? And then suddenly you see here, this one goes up, comes goes up, comes down like on a very small time frame. This this is a four hour trend. Four hour trend. This one is maybe like a. 30 minute trend, 30 minute trend over here. This one could be some small trend here that's maybe a one, a five minute trend, got it? So four hour trend, 30 minute trend, five minute trend. The five minute trend is going down, it's true. But then guess what? On the four hour, you are somewhere here. You can put out your fit, maybe this is a 270 or I know 618. You know, you fit, you fit this, then it's somewhere at the end. 
a you know price don't often just drop forever. So you're almost at the end of this this one, two, three. The forward trend is down downward because it's making progression downside, but you are somewhere at the bottom here, somewhere at the bottom here, somewhere at the bottom here. You know, you're somewhere at the bottom. So you are at the end of the of this four hour trend that's going down. There's a little five minute trend going down, but once you once you're 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 caught somewhere at the bottom of the four hour trend and this flips up or this flips up, this flips up, you are here. And then suddenly you get caught. Suddenly you are down 100 pips. All right. So the idea of following a trend, be very careful. Be very careful. Um, you got to understand what that really means. What does trend really means? Even if it's a trend, is it worth taking that trend? If you think you're, if you're a one minute trader, so be it. You know, maybe you, you see yourself a five minute trend. But as a swing trader, you're looking on the always looking at the higher time frame first. Right, so be careful of this stuff and be careful of also this stuff. Right, never just draw charts like that because uh, that's that's that misleads a lot of people. The people will lose money if they just follow charts like that. Right. The, 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 the other interesting thing about uh, crude oil would be. Uh, let me just show you something, okay. So let's just look at crude oil uh, over here. Crude oil here. Let's go daily. Let's check out all this. Let's go. Let's go to the perhaps the weekly. My kid might be in the background. She's learning, practicing her Mandarin. So I hope uh, doesn't affect you all too much. Okay, so as you can see here, this is uh, Brent crude oil on the weekly. Now you notice that uh, when, when Brent crude oil collapsed and broke the previous low, this is how far it went. So now I'm going to shift the entire box, this box trading. You might even you often hear me talk about box trading. Well, so many ways to use the word, to use boxes, right? So. So I, I'm putting buys on my uh, on my. Uh, so now you are at the bottom again. You're at the bottom again. So my question is, now that you're at the bottom, remember if if you took any buy here, can you just put your stop loss right right below here this previous low? I mean, when it was over here and you broke this previous low over here, it, it went to this bottom as shown by the box. Right, let me just outline for people who. Uh, so if you put your stop loss right below here, you got stopped out. Even if you put it at this place, you still got stopped out. So you got to know how, exactly how much this stop should be. So my, now that you're over here, question is, uh, if, you, if you bought over here, question is, did you put your stop loss right below here? If you bought here, if you bought, let's say on this side, you bought it here, did you put your stop loss right below here? If you bought here, did you put your stop loss right below here? Because if you did both times, you bet, even though the upside was a correct move, even though the upside was a correct move, but you got stopped out, you got stopped out first. I will not elaborate too much, any much further, but just by this, understand how stops are hunted and don't let it happen. Don't let it happen to you, right? Um, I think, yeah, okay. So uh, now the question is what's gonna happen now? Well. Of course, these are all going to be zones, uh, important zones. These are all going to be important zones. That means when price action comes, depending on price action goes up like real slow, it stops here, this is going to react. All right. Uh, it, it could do anything. It could do like that sharp. It might be stuck. It might come up here like that. It comes down, it comes up here like that. It just busts right through. But it reaches this zone and it gets stuck here. And then maybe it comes back down. Suddenly it starts to fall like that, fall like that, up, fall like that. Really complicated stuff, and then, bam, you break the low again. Okay, so what? What? This is just some hypothetical scenario, but these are all zones that are going to be important. So, zone to zone trading. If you find something that tells you you can get go up to the upside, you reach here, better take some off because you never know what the hell is going to happen on here. You take some off if you, if you confirm something shallow, something, and then it breaks out, it hooks back like that, you know, 
Oh, that means, you know, it breaks out, it pulls back. There's indication for upside. Then you enter again. So trade from a zone to a zone, with zone to zone. Just like imagine you're going out to a club where you're trying to, you know, date some hot girl at a bar. And then you want to talk to her and uh, you got to have some game, you know, don't, don't, be too, don't be an eager beaver. You know, maybe say buy a drink, be a little bit generous, but don't, but don't, don't go all in, you know. Just read, read the signs. If it's, if it's kind of warming up to you, then, then uh, you know, then you go to step two, you know. Then, uh, but after that, if it works out, then maybe go out for some supper and stuff like that. You know. So, go from zone to zone. You don't just jump in and like, like, what's up? You know, suddenly, you know, it doesn't work. So, just like in trading, step zone, zone to zone, zone to zone. Um, if you can go, you'll go. Otherwise, step back. Uh, give some time for the some 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 time factor swings to 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 develop. I mean, this is swing up. So you see how all this develop in with regards to the previous structure. Um, and then that will tell you whether or not you should continue up or continue down. Because what if this one does not? Uh, it goes up here. It goes like something like this, like this, right? And then. Um, Say here, maybe it breaks down to the low here. It breaks down to the low here, and then suddenly it pops up real strong like this. Guess what? This probably is not going down anymore. If you see any upside, it's going up. Depending on where you enter, you want to keep. Because why? Now you have depth. And then now the consolidation is up here. So it really depends on, on what happens um, uh, as the chart starts to progress, right? It really, it, so it really depends. See that? It depends. So zone to zone, around around this zone here, you gotta start, this is where it starts to get tricky. Either you take time off or you have to start to, um, start to, uh, as, a, as a technical trader, you need to know where all the difficult places are. You just suddenly stop, wake up, and then the candle starts to be above here, like the candle starts to be above here, like so. Then you, chances are this one could this one could always have gone up like this. That's also possible, right? Or it could it could have gone up to this zone. It's just so many possible scenarios. It, it just depends. Or it just goes up to here, it pulls up, it could have gone up. Maybe this looks like it's gonna go upside, but then guess what? It, it goes up to here, then it plunges down also. So um, trade what you can see and you hope for the best but then when you reach a certain difficult points it's best to take some more and then just wait to see what happens again okay um, okay so right now anyway you're, you're right now at the low so decide whether or not you want to continue to stay in the trend or whether you you, you believe in uh, you believe in what the 270 right you believe you get there this, because uh, impulse pressure, impulse, and all, all that stuff. Maybe, maybe you get to here, possible. You know, but question is, do you want to sell here? Okay, that goes out to people who tell me that you should uh, stay the trend and sell, right? That's your answer. Uh, okay, so let's go. So pound dollar buy bias. This is pound dollar. But interestingly enough, I was uh, actually looking at pound Swiss and I put pound dollar. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, so the idea was to set the low, so you're looking at upside basically. All right. So same same idea for oil. I mean, because you are at the low, so you're looking for the upside, right? So pound dollar, same thing. Because you are at the low, so you're looking for the upside. That's it. Okay, so I guess that concludes my review. Uh, everything was is pretty much on point. I mean, that's how swing trading is. Uh, time factored swings. They they uh, in terms of aiming for 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 the for uh, the direction of the trade, it's, it's quite it's pretty pretty robust. Uh, based on based on the uh, direction of the trade, it's pretty robust. Oops, sorry. Okay, what was I? 
uh, it's pretty robust. But at the end of the day, we also have to be very careful on uh, on when things can actually go wrong. I just want to highlight when things go wrong. Uh, okay, so let me just throw this additional uh, part here. Okay, when things go wrong. Let's see if I can find something. I want to show when things can possibly go wrong. Okay, I'm going to pause it until I can find it. Just one second. Okay, found it. So, just to show you, um, Okay, where we are right now is we are looking at the uh, pound kiwi. So this is the pound kiwi. It's the weekly, it's a weekly time frame. Okay, so you have this coming, uh, making high high. It comes down, goes up, comes down, and then it breaks. Now people will tell you uh, that this. Low line is going up. Okay, is that right? So if I was to make it look at this point in trade, if we talk about the fractal nature of the market, okay, you're very interested in the in the buy based off based off what you learn from head and shoulder pattern like this. So let's just see what what happens after that. A lot more messy than we actually think. Uh, in fact, from this point, it looks like a cell already. It looks like a cell. In fact, this looks like a cell. Or this looks like a cell. Now, for for those who only understand uh, what this is, what are they thinking? I will be looking for the sell. I can tell you now. Over here is a good idea to buy, but over here it becomes a good idea to sell. And as you can see, price action does not always look like that. Here was a good area to buy, but here you have to cut, start considering place like here, around here, you have to start considering that the sell because why? This, this. This, this does not always work. That's why it's always important when you, when you consider impulse, impulse correction, impulse trading. When it comes to here, put a solid line, right? If you, if you like time factor swings, you must understand that this is uh, it's something you hope for, but it's just a fantasy. It's, it's you hope for it, you put a dotted line on it, because this may not happen, okay? And if you think the thing is that when you believe that it's what happens and you consolidate, you just buy like this, you're not understanding how to actually manage trades like that. When this goes down, uh, possibly the whole account will go bust. Because of the firm belief that this had to go, people start to put big lots. And then that one time they put a big lot and it did not go, well, game over, okay? So, um, be careful, be careful. All right, I love the idea of impulse pressure impulse, but understand at the end of the day, it's just a bias, right? A probability. Well, thank you for listening, and uh, I'll try to post some videos as I, as I can. Uh, all right, and uh, I'll just end off right now. Thanks, bye-bye.